I still remember being shocked the day the president rang me up to say, well, <laughs> we're giving you the job. And um, it was a junior professorship with um, a rather surprising degree of freedom. It was um, allowing a young researcher the opportunity and giving this person the chance um, to establish herself very independently research-wise. I was 30 years old when I came to Göttingen, so um, quite young to be leading my own research group. In a way, I think it was wonderful to be given the opportunity to have that responsibility. The way we start off is typically the child comes in here with the mother and it gets used to the place around here and develops a relationship of trust with the researcher who's going to be doing the experiment so that the child feels comfortable here. So in the eye tracking experiments we're measuring the baby's eye movements as it looks at pictures on the screen, um, looking at for instance whether when we show the baby a picture of a cake and a bird and the baby hears the sentence, the boy eats the big cake. We're looking to see whether the child looks at the picture of the cake even before it hears the word cake. So when it hears the word eats, does the child then predict what's coming up later in the sentence um, and then look at the picture of the cake because it knows we're going to be talking about cake soon. And that's a fascinating skill for the child to have because it tells us that very young children are capable of predicting what we're likely to say next which allows them to keep up with the pace of conversation that goes on. I remember my university life as some of the best years of my life and I think being able to speak to them just before they start on these wonderful years of their life was a wonderful opportunity. So we came here from London at the stage of life where I am right now with one small child and a second child on the way. Um, Göttingen is the kind of city where you want to bring your children up. It's extremely child friendly. I mean, most restaurants have dedicated child areas where the children can go to. Um, numerous parks uh, where we live, for instance, uh, two minutes away from our house, we are in the forest and the opportunities for children to learn other languages apart from just English and German. As a language researcher, that's obviously important for me. Um, but for instance, there's a Tamil Sunday school where he can go and he can learn Tamil as well once he gets a bit older. Those are some of the things that we really appreciate now. Germany has a wonderful uh, maternity and paternity leave arrangement that is unheard of in most countries in the world. Um, so that obviously helped a lot that I was given the freedom to sort of take months off after the child was born to sort of get into the role of being a mother and then come back to being a researcher. My child goes now to a wonderful childcare facility which, we, um, which was arranged by the university and just being able to work around being a mum and being a researcher flexibly. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be like that because um, the university was very clever in that they organized the interviews in summer. And I came here to this gorgeous summer day, the skies were blue, the flowers were out in bloom, and it was beautiful and moved to the day I actually stopped working here where there's snow on the streets and it's a grey January day. Um, you do have grey January days here, but you get for the beautiful summer days as well. <laughs> <laughs>